Hotel. I'm staying at the Model Hotel in DC. It's in Chinatown, which is a really great area. It's really centrally located. It's where the gallery plays Chinatown Metro and the Chinatown Arch. And it's in a really great area, especially because it has Hip City Bed, my favorite vegan restaurant in the city. And I'm super excited to have that for lunch right now. Just got in, so I'm gonna have that and then walk around and explore the city. by Hip City Veg and I got the delicious apple caramel shake. It's seasonal and it's so yummy. There's apple chunks in there and it's just such a tasty treat. Tastes like apple pie so that's so great. And then I got a chicken sandwich. So this is the crispy Hip City Ranch and it looks amazing. <music> I love to soak in the culture and history of the area, but also the food. I love vegan food, so I like to try all the local restaurants that I can, and especially the pastries. Donuts and cookies and cupcakes are the best things to get because they're so hard to find at some places if you're a vegan, so I love to find them whenever I can. monument hi guys so it's day two i just went to la colombe and i got a nitro oat milk latte i'm really excited to see how it tastes mm. it's good it has a creamy coffee taste but also the oat milk really like settles it down so that's really nice yum <laughs> you can't eat there so i'm just going to walk to another place actually i'm walking to dc vegan and then i'm going to get some pastries hopefully and then i will plan to eat around there okay so i just stopped into dc vegan it looks so yummy you guys i didn't get any food because i just got some food from plant um from bobby slant burgers that i didn't have yet but i got a lovely looking slice of carrot cake yum this looks delicious and they have a lot of outside seating so that's really great okay so i didn't show the first bite of the aloha burger but it was okay but i know there's supposed to be some uh, pineapple in here so let me oh yeah here it goes it's like pushed back a little bit so let me try and get a bite into that that's how it looks better view the patty the pineapple has some onions some tomato has a sauce and some lettuce up there and i think it has some cheese so let's take a bite Pineapple's a nice square. Not the biggest fan of the patty, but pineapple is a nice square. Okay, so it's time for a taste test of the Bubby's PB and J wings. How they look so good. The sauce is so good. It's almost like a spoon sour. I love PB and J. Really, really tasty. The texture of the wings are really good. I look, the texture is really good, tastes really good, and the size is amazing. And I'm tired of them, so that's great. And it comes with some dipping sauces, too. I'm not really sure what they are, but it comes with two dipping sauces. If you're liking this vlog so far, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Anansi Christina. Okay, guys, so I'm finishing up at the Anacostia Art Center, and not only did I go to Mahogany Books, but I also went to New Bean Human and a health food store. So I will definitely be tagging my TikToks in the description, so you can definitely check those events out as well. <laughs> Heading to the Lincoln Memorial now, you can see it right back there. <music> Guys, look at this beautiful view of the Washington Monument. Oops, ah, in the background. <laughs> National Mall 
hitting some museums. And first, I have the African American History Museum. So excited to see this museum. I have seen it once before, but I'm really excited to see how it looks now. day in DC and I'm doing some old things that I used to do when I spent a semester here so I'm just revisiting my old home old neighborhood and the Eastern Market and a few things like that and I also have to definitely hit up new vegan again because the crab cakes are absolutely amazing also the mac and cheese is really good as well so I'm definitely gonna get that and some other things from new vegan and I'll show you guys that in a little bit so when I was in college, I spent a semester in Washington, D.C. And we had a semester in program at my university. And I was able to intern in Northern Virginia and live in Washington, D.C. And this is the house that I lived in, you guys. I was literally the youngest one in my school's program. But it was really cool to live in the Capitol Hill neighborhood and to just explore D.C. at like 19 years old. and I stopped by my cake theory you guys and they have a vegan gluten-free and allergen-free cupcake you guys it's in the Oreo flavor so I'm super excited to try this cupcake mm -hmm. 